So we actually have many different kinds of consumers within ecosystems. Remember producers, consumers, decomposers, as we're going to talk about. Well, consumers are very diverse, and so there are different kinds of consumers depending on what they feed on. Remember, they're heterotrophic. So we have consumers that are primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers, and quaternary consumers, sometimes, sometimes not. Okay, and rarely this goes past the fourth level. And why is a big question that we're going to take up later. Okay, um, moving along to the next uh, slide here. <clears throat> so what are primary consumers? Let's start with that. <clears throat> well, primary consumers are those kinds of consumers that feed on producers directly. Okay, so we also refer to them as herbivores. And so if you can think of some examples of herbivores in terrestrial systems, things like rabbits, uh, insects like grasshoppers, uh, animals like deer within marine systems, zooplankton are very important primary consumers, as, we, as we've talked about in lab. Uh, sea urchins, insects, snails, some birds. There's a lot of different kinds of examples of, of animals that feed uh, directly on producers or primarily just on producers. As we'll, as we'll see, it's often more complicated than this. Um, so <clears throat> in marine ecosystems, the fact that we can have um, certain kinds of organisms that are uh, can primary consumers, sea urchins, for example, are a good example of organisms that are primarily primary consumers. Again, there's always some exceptions there. So if we look at some pictures of some different kinds of sea urchins here, just to introduce you a little bit more to the biodiversity that you can see, and these are just some Google images, just taking a minute to load. <clears throat> There's beautiful uh, diversity of different kinds of sea urchins within tropical marine ecosystems as well as other marine ecosystems throughout the world. And again, these guys primarily feed on algae or phytoplankton, right? So that makes them primary consumers. And um, of course, you're going to get some exceptions to sea urchins that may feed on other sorts of things. In, in some instances here, we're just seeing the skeletons of the sea urchins. Another example of a primary consumer within marine ecosystems are uh, fish that are called convict, uh, convict tangs, okay? And they tend to primarily feed on algae. Okay, so we're going to be talking more about specific organisms and what they do within ecosystems later. Okay, so let's talk now about secondary consumers. Secondary consumers, of course, are going to feed on primary consumers, right? And as you can imagine, uh, since they're feeding on other animals primarily, we refer to them as carnivores, all right? Or within aquatic systems, feeding on zooplankton, right, which are primarily miniature animals as well as protozoans. Some examples here are rodents, insects, fish, uh, I mean little fish, right? <laughs> Frogs, spiders, lions, octopus, some birds. These again are just examples of animals that can function as secondary consumers. All right, and then who are the tertiary or quaternary consumers? Those are the guys that are feeding on the secondary consumers, so higher up on that food chain that we're going to talk more about, right? So sometimes these guys are called the top carnivores. Those guys, those animals that feed way up at the top, snakes and hawks and larger fish, sharks, again, are all examples of tertiary and quaternary consumers. 